I know the video is called how to speak English fast, but do you really need to speak English fast? Let me tell you something. Sometimes we think that native speakers speak fast and this is why they sound so natural. In reality, they don't speak fast, they just connect all the words together and instead of splitting them up, which sounds a little kind of slower, they just put them all together as if one sentence is one big word, they emit some syllables, they add some new sounds, and this is why they sound the way they sound. And sometimes it's hard for us to understand them just because they don't split up words and we think that they're just speaking too fast. In reality, they're not. Today, I'm gonna teach you this technique. I'm gonna teach you how native speakers do it so you can do it to sound more native and so that you understand the mechanics behind kind of faster speaking so you can understand native speakers. For example, you see a phrase, what do you? For example, in a sentence, what do you do? But Americans would never say like this, what do you do? They'll say, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? So the speed, the pace is kind of the same. It's just connecting everything. What do you do? And if you don't know the way they do it, you're like, what was that? Another phrase, I am going to do some shopping. What Americans would say, they would say, I'm gonna do some shopping. Again, not I'm going to, I'm gonna do. Again, they've connected something, they actually paraphrase it a little. I'm gonna get some water, do you want some? And some Americans would even say, I'm gonna do shopping. This is like the very, very contracted version of it. So what Americans do, they take those smaller words and they pronounce them in a way that is easier for them in daily speech. For example, article the is pronounced like the. What's the weather today? So they don't say what's the weather today. They say what's what <laughs> they say what's the weather today. So it's the because it's easier. Oh, what about the weather report? You sometimes sounds like yeah. Do you wanna go for a walk? Again, do you want to go for a walk? Sounds as if you just started learning English. Do you wanna go for a walk? Sounds closer to being a native speaker. And another thing that you might have noticed, when we say what do, so we have T at the end of the word what, and we have D at the beginning of the word do, we kind of invent a new sound here. Instead of saying what do you do, we say what you do. So there is a sound CH, which uh, appears in the middle. Again, this is a way to make your speech smoother. And this is what all native speakers do. For example, what you do for a living. What you do for a living. What you do. To make this even clearer for you, I'm gonna read a sentence out loud. The first time I read it, I'm gonna read it as a student. The second time I read it, I would try to read it as a native speaker. Let's do it. I am going to go out to Walmart. Do you need anything? I'm gonna go out to Walmart. Do you need anything? Again, I replaced I'm going to with I'm gonna go to Walmart and I've connected Walmart with do. We have a word that ends with T and we have a word with, that begins with D. So I'm gonna go to Walmart, do you need anything? And there's this CH that appeared in the middle. The next word, a little confusing, I know, especially when you hear this first in a native speaker speech. Something, they say something. Uh, I don't know why this appears, it's just the way the language evolves when people speak it, but can you give me something? <laughs> this is sometimes what native speakers say, which is correct. Uh, don't be confused, it's just the same as something. Huh? The next phrase, let me give you something. The Americans would say, let me give you something. So they just emit the letter T and you get let me, let me get you something. Let me give you something. In American English, if you have a letter T in the middle of a word, sometimes you pronounce it as D. Letter, letter. Letter? Because it's faster, because it's smoother. City, you don't say it, city, city. City? 
It's like DNR, city. Bitter, and it sounds a little British. So in Great Britain, they would say still bitter. In American English, they would say bitter. Bitter. Let me give you some more examples. Bottle, bottle. Butter, butter. Computer, computer. I can't even say it with the, with the T. Computer, computer, computer. Daughter, daughter. 80, 80. 40, 40. Little, little. Settle, settle. 30, 30. You see, this T converts to D all the time. As you notice, it's even unnatural for me to say little, 30, just because I'm so used to, you know, inserting D um, instead of T. This would come automatically, automatically, not automatically, <laughs> automatically to you guys uh, when you practice. This is first the way to speak faster, second, this is the way to speak more naturally, and third, this is an easier way to understand native speakers because you now know how the mechanics work. Let me know if this was useful for you guys. The homework for you, the task, is write down in comments below what other words have T in the middle and you pronounce them with a D. Just what I told you, 30, 30, little, little, that kind of stuff. You can Google that, but make sure you write something in comments so that you can practice. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you very soon.